This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here at the 2010 IFBB PBW Tampa Pro Show. I'm here with our men's overall champion here, Ben, the showstopper white. You delivered tonight, my friend. No, we delivered. I didn't do this by myself. We delivered. All right, well, I'll take a little credit, but you did the work. You, you, you Look, you've been talking for years now, and you know what? You finally delivered. You shut Bob Chicarillo up. He said you wouldn't place top three, and you not only did you place top three, you won the show. Are you shocked yourself? I'm definitely shocked. I mean, we had a heavy competition, and we had a lot of veterans and everything else. And, I mean, it was a heavy show. It was 20 three guys in the show and I mean a lot of them have been to the Olympia. I've never been to the Olympia before but I know by putting 20 pounds on it was going to do something. Being 250 versus being 230 last year it was a big difference and my conditioning definitely was on par this time. When we first started working together you know I told you you had to get your conditioning down. You came in 230 last year very well conditioned and I said, you know what, Ben, you got to stop lifting light because you had this habit. You're a powerlifter, and then you start getting ready for a show. You'd lift light. People didn't understand that if you lifted heavy all year round, that you would be a much bigger bodybuilder. You even shocked me. You're almost 25 pounds heavier than you were last year. I mean, are you? Did you believe in yourself enough to think that this is possible? I mean, normally when I used to compete as a powerlifter, my weight class was 275 anyway, so about 280, 265. That's normally where I floated at all the time. But I mean, you train with different people, and they have you doing different stuff, and it makes you zap you and take you down. But um, this, this ketogenic diet definitely works for me, and lifting heavy weights definitely works. So I found my formula. The only thing I got to do now is just critique it and make it work for me uh, more and more. Not only are you a great bodybuilder, but you had the heart to come to our Bros vs. Pros 4 Challenge, Deadlift Challenge. You deadlifted against the best in the world, uh, or the best, I guess, who came to the, the competition on that day for $2,000. And, you know, you didn't come out on top, but you know what? You gave it your all, and I have to respect the hell out of you, especially since you're eating no carbs. I mean, two th- I lost 2000 but I gained 10000 so that's right. I mean, in a long run, I'm the winner. Exactly. Now, um, before I ask you what you're going to spend the money on, because I know some I'm of us... some crack. You're going to buy some crack cocaine? Yeah, I'm going to co- <laughs> buy some crack cocaine so I can lean out. <laughs> well, no, really, I'm going to put... I'm gonna just, this, this money's not mine. That money's Teresa's. That's not mine at all. Yeah, I heard that you really gave her a lot of hell. Yeah, you know, I mean, anybody will give you hell. I mean, you're dieting down, and she's putting up with it. This has been three years in the making. I mean, it's her money. I heard that when you stubbed your toenail, it was her fault. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Everything's her fault. I mean, that's how it is. Your fault, too. I mean, doing cardio. I, you, you blame me when you lost the Bros vs. Pros Challenge. No, I didn't lose. I stopped. If you look at the tape, I, I, just, I just stopped. Why get injured when I was going to come here? Well, you were smart because you know what? You wound up emerging victorious Winning today. There and then losing here, what would you have been happy with? Well, I'm glad that you won here. You qualify for the Olympia. Okay, you're going there. I'm going to the Olympia. All right, now this is the question I have for you. You have the world's strongest bodybuilder. I'm going to the Olympia. You see a skip in that. Rhino, you had eight months to train for the world's strongest bodybuilder contest and only four months for your punk-ass performance you did in 17th place. I'm not competing against you because you, you, you just want to lift heavy weights. You, you, when you prove to me that you can do what I just did, then come see me. But other than that, I'd rather go against Johnny Jackson, a real true bodybuilder, not no fake bodybuilder. All right. Well, having said that, you beat Johnny Jackson once again. This is the third time in a row. Uh, were you pretty confident that you were going to take him tonight? I mean, I beat him last year. So, I mean, it was the same thing. But Johnny came in and shocked the hell out of me because he looked better than he did last well, he year. He had a baby last year, so I guess he had an excuse. He, oh, he had the baby. He, he had, had the baby, baby, yes. So, so since he had the baby, he had an excuse. Okay. But anyway. Um, well, you've got to face him again next week because you're doing the Hartford Europa show. and. No. Oh, oh, oh. you got to face me. That's right, because you're the champ I now. I live in New York. You're the champ. And I live in New York. That's right. This is your hometown, even though the show's in Connecticut. Yeah, I mean, New York and Connecticut, same thing. I ain't got to fly, so ain't no water weight going to be on me. Do you feel confident going into next week that you're going to be able to carry through with the same oh, conditioning might, you brought? I, if I could shrink that trophy down, I might put it on my neck and wear it in there like Flavor Flay. I might have a big chain on with the trophy hanging from my neck. Ben, enjoy the spoils of your victory tonight. Are we going to go to Waffle House again? I mean, it's up to you, man. You did it. Sean helped me. I mean, RX Muscle, Teresa, um, all my fans, and everybody else out there that, did, that doubted me, keep on blogging. You're making me famous. Ben, the showstopper white, the overall champion here tonight at the uh, 2010 IFBB PBW Tampa Pro Show. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo, RxMuscle.com.